Hello, I'm the Nostalgia Critic Guy. Remember it so you don't have to. Music! Yes! The music to a movie adds so friggin' much. I mean, it's practically one third of the film. I mean, take a look at this scene without the music. Pretty boring, huh? But now look what happens when you put some music to it. We represent the lollipop kill, the lollipop kill. Well, okay, the right music makes a big impact. And who can blame us for enjoying it? There are so many great themes and great melodies that just make us want to scream with joy. And that's what I'm looking at today. The top 11 most awesome movie themes. What qualifies as awesome? Well, it's kind of hard to say. The only way I can truly describe it is the kind of music that makes you want to stand up out of your seat and just yell, FUCK YOU! Yeah! And you have to have your teeth closed, that's very important. FUCK YOU! Yeah! So, sit back and enjoy the top 11 most awesome... Eh, fuck it. Sit back and enjoy the top 11 most FUCK YOU! Yeah! Movie themes! MUSIC! 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 up between this and the original Star Wars theme, and I will be honest, I was mostly looking for the one people would kill me the least for leaving off the list. But to be fair, this does have some legitimate FUCK YEAR moments. Like how about when they defeat the troll, only to find that the worst is yet to come? To the bridge of Kassar. FUCK YEAR! That was just the beginning of the action! Uh. How about when they're getting sweeping shots of New Zealand? Fuck yeah, I'm gonna vacation there! Mm. But by far, the best is when they jump out of the ship. Just when everything is at its most terrible and you think it's only gonna get worse, our heroes pop out. Isn't that just the music you want to hear at a moment like that? It's not even big or bombastic in this one. It's more like a symphonic version of saying, nah, 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 nah. The Star Wars theme gets a big cheer whenever the movie opens, but I can't think of any moments in the actual film that made people want to stand up and roar. This one, on the other hand? Fuck yeah, that's our middle finger theme now! Mm. It's big, it's epic, it's Lord of the Rings. What else would you expect? says badass man whore like 007. And this is the best theme to accompany it. It has everything. It's smooth and suave. It has an active party side to it. And of course, you got the awesome action. This part is the best because it's just a straight up way of saying, don't fuck with me. I'm just walking down my hallway looking cool, and you so much as move an eyelash wrong, I'll shoot off faster than I shoot off! It's great because it's civilized and refined, but also kind of crazy and psychotic. Just like we want our action stars. It's the perfect music for doing bloodthirsty work, but acting like not only does it mean nothing to you, but you're also having fun doing it. Oh, you're gonna shoot me? Oh, you're not! <laughs> What's the nice gun they got there? Super <laughs> five! Oh, you want something? You want that? Music for an awesome character that's plenty enough for me. Hi, I'm Plenty. But of course you are. Music! 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 Okay, this is a little bit of cheating seeing how it was originally a TV theme. And while the theme did have a good beat, it was. Not as impressive. But when the movie came out? <laughs> Fuck yeah! Now that's an upgrade! The reworking of this theme has brought so many other remixes to the forefront. There was even two mixes in the movie. The Danny Elfman mix. <laughs> and the U2 
YouTube mix. Both sounded great. You knew that whenever that theme came up, shit was going down. Hell, I didn't even know what was going on in the first movie. But as soon as I heard that theme... Oh yeah, fight for whatever confusing plot points you're fighting for! Even in a film as silly as Mission Impossible 2, you gotta admit, that electric guitar version jacks you up! Oh yeah, Limp Bizkit. Fast forward. Yeah! This is a kick-ass mission that anyone should choose to accept. Music! 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 Terminator 2. And let's face it, it's not for the actual theme, you know, the da 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 I mean, that's very nice too, but it's just for those five notes. Good, I'll get you hyped! Even at the end of the opening credits, most composers try to either fade out the music or build up to something. This guy just plays those same five beats over and over. And you know what? We're totally cool with it. was played in the first film too, but honestly, it sounds like something that was composed on that piano for Big. Neat. Terminator 2 is where stuff got bigger. I mean, you got skulls everywhere, playgrounds on fire, that pissed off looking metal Skeletor. You know the music had to be upped. The theme itself is actually a very nice theme too. There's a real tragedy to it that makes you feel the surprisingly emotional weight of the story and characters. But hell with that. Give me those five notes! For a movie where everything got upgraded from the last one, it's good to know the music followed too. Music! 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 to choose between these two, so I just decided to put them both in the same category. Why? Because they sound pretty damn similar, don't they? In fact, here's a game we used to play in high school. Sing Indiana Jones. Da 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 All right, now sing Superman. Da 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 Superman. It's hard! It's hard to sing them one after another without practice. But, nevertheless, they both got the hype going for two of America's greatest heroes. The Nia Jones theme, of course, is positive and upbeat, and even a little bit lighthearted. Which is why I personally like the Superman theme a little more. I mean, yeah, it's positive and upbeat too, but it has some major buildup behind it. What is that? Something creeping and getting louder and louder. I am intrigued by what this could be. Whoa, what the fuck is that? Spider-Man! I mean Superman! Anytime that theme popped up, you were always rooting for the Man of Steel. Indy's got his kick-ass musical moments too, though. Like, how about when the tank just misses him? The most awesome thing in the world is when he starts getting back up and the music plays. That's right, Indy! Go get that Nazi that looks like the Nazi from Blues Brothers! I think they're brothers. You're just put in a good mood whenever you hear either of these themes pop up. And of course, you get revved up for action. Two awesome, similar themes for the price of one. No doubt about it, these movies made pirates awesome. Kind of awesome. A little less awesome. 
hey, let's see what the zombies are up to. But nevertheless, this theme is always a ton of fun. How can you not want to see explosions, sword fights, cannons, financial currency scandals? Wait, that's when they were getting stupid. But pirates, yay! This theme turns everybody into a third grader. Tell me you don't want to go jumping up and down on your bed shouting, Arr, arr! <laughs>